Hey, Oliver Heldens, how you doing? Yeah, I'm doing good. Pretty good. Uh, how are you? We're doing good. Oh, we're just enjoying Tomorrowland, and we're really excited to talk to you. I was watching, to get ready for this interview, we were watching some other interviews you've done, <laughs> and the best one that I saw was you were getting interviewed by this woman who, in the middle of the interview, she just goes, you know, you're really young. You're younger than me, and you're really good looking. And she blatantly hits on you during the interview. Okay. You're like, this happens all the time, right? <laughs> I feel like it does. Everybody that interviews you, you can tell. If, it, if it's a woman, they're like, oh, they're clearly hitting on you. Are you conscious no, of this or no? Not every time. As an interviewer, you try to be nice to the person you interview, right? Yeah. yeah. But these... But that being more than nice. Mm -hmm. It's like, there's a girl in this room that now today in the dance studio who does fancy you. It's not me, okay. but it's someone else over there. And <laughs> she's our social media guru. <laughs> See. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, do you feel like this happens? If you're DJing, so when you're DJing, I would imagine you're in the zone because that's what it looks like. Do you, have you ever yeah, had? I'm very focused. Yeah. Have you ever had somebody? That is the one time that you do not want to be hit on. I would imagine. As a guy, I, could, I feel like I could say that with some confidence. Like you're, when you're doing that, you don't. Want, that's you're like, please leave me alone. No, it's fine. It's yeah. Fine. Yeah. Because you're a pro. Yeah, I mean, for me, it's, 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 it's easy to stay focused when I'm on stage, like DJing. Because you've been doing it for long enough now to where you're like, yes, I can definitely take the time to talk to this person who's really attractive and, and clearly hitting oh, I'm, not, I'm not talking with girls at the same time when I'm DJing. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. There's no way, right? Yeah. You're focused, Just you're having, in the zone. Having a natter off. I'm trying to live through you right now because if it were me, I'd be like, yeah, I'm, I'm so important right now, I don't even have time to flirt with you. Yeah. <laughs> It'd feel really cool. Summer Lover. Love the track, it's doing really well. We play it all the time on dance. Oh, thanks. And with Nile Rogers, did you choose him or did he choose you? How did that happen? I emailed him like three years ago because I really wanted to work with him. And then, yeah, and then he replied, like, hey, yeah, Oliver, I, I love your stuff, blah, blah. So then later on, I sent him a track that he, and, and he really liked it. So then he um, wrote a song over it and um, some guitars. But then we never finished that track. But then later, so like last year, uh, he asked me to remix Sheep the Freak. Yeah. Um, yeah, and for me, of course, it was a big honor to remix that track. And then, so I did, and then yeah, he was super happy with the remix. So then he invited me over to, uh, to the, the Abbey Road Studios in London to, to write for a couple of days. Uh, that was really fun. Yeah. We listened to that. We were listening to that track before you came in here, and I love that you remix it so much because when you try to listen to the original, the, it's not as loud. You can't hear you remixing it makes it so the, the original vocals are even more amazing and then you add your own thing to it. Were you excited? To, do you like listening to the original more or your version more? <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting you in all these situations where you're like, I'm trying to not sound like I have an well, ego. For, for, for me as a DJ, of course, I love to play my own version with the really big bass line. Yeah. yeah. But of course, yeah, the original is, is legendary, it's iconic. Yeah. So, so, so with this remix, I, I, I try to stay true to the original. But still, of course, I have like a big bass line in rock. And I love it because if you love the original, you're like, this is like a remastered, better version of the original where it's like you can really bump it in your car. And the problem with the original is the technology back then, you couldn't bust it out as loud as you can your version. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so I get to enjoy it a lot better. Good, thanks. Is there a track that you that you have at the moment that you that you like the best? It's your favorite track that you're into at the moment? Um, well, I'm very excited about the track coming up. Uh, it's, it's called Dr. Love. I'll, I'll play it today. Um, it, it, it also contains an, an old sample from the 80s from, uh, from Yazoo Don't Go. Ah. Uh, yeah! <laughs> that one. I like that. So, uh, that's like, that's like, yeah, I'm very excited for that uh, track to, to, to come out. I, I don't know exactly when it will be released. I think early. August. That's gonna be good. Do we have your permission to take you doing that right now and yeah. use that as a sample <laughs> for another song? Just yeah. Continue it. Yeah. Sure. Can you imagine? Yeah. Uh, well, hey, thank you, Oliver. We're so glad that you came out here. Are you excited for your set, Tomorrowland? I mean, this is a, uh, an amazing experience. Is it your second, third time here? No, second, like sixth, sixth time. Oh my gosh! Like since 2014, uh, I came here every year. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, but but also sometimes it's two weekends. So it's my sixth year. Yeah. And it's my first, so I'm, I'm just bewildered okay. by everything. And I'm, I'm like, I'm just looking around like, oh, they have Doritos here, so I, everything amazes me. <laughs> You're like a puppy dog, right? You've got. Oh, it's, we need to get to business, right? You have more than forty pairs of shoes, am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Because last time we spoke to you last year, you had about forty, and oh. now how's it, how's the collection looking? Yes, yeah, I got more now. Yeah, uh, I, I I don't count them. 
the, yeah, more than 50. <laughs> how do you, I only have three pairs of shoes, so how do you pick which ones you wear? Yeah, so I, I, I must admit, I bought too much of them. I can't wear them all. Yeah. Also on tour, I, I, I only bring two pairs of shoes because we're gonna, we're gonna travel with hand, with hand luggage. So um, yeah, but, 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 but actually, actually my two younger brothers, they have the same shoe size. Uh, so they also wear, wear a few of those. You guys have yeah. more shoes than anybody can buy. That's amazing. I'm so happy when you use your younger brother, just like yeah. using all the shoes. I'm more, look at, look at the, how embarrassing is this? Look at what I got right now. <laughs> I mean, as a person with that many pairs of shoes, are you like, this guy really is an amateur. I would those be, socks as well, you've got orange socks. Yeah. Blue it's just, I'm, I'm embarrassed for myself. It flashes. Yeah. Oliver Heldens, thank you for coming and talking thank to you. us. Yeah, likewise, thank you. It's been oh, real. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>